Today, I'm gonna to share five fun and simple math games that will prepare your preschooler for kindergarten. Stay tuned. Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm a homeschooling mama to a toddler and a preschooler, and I love sharing tips and tricks on encouraging a love of learning in your little one by making videos just like this. Today, I'm sharing five worksheet-free games and activities that will build up your preschooler's math skills. These will get them nice and ready and excited to learn all about numbers and to get them ready for kindergarten math. Okay, let's get into it. Here's a great hands-on activity that visualizes grouping and adding numbers together. I call it the pre-edition game. All you really need is some kind of manipulative and optional playing cards or cards that represent a group of numbers. I made some out of flashcards and dot stickers. Then you're going to section off three spaces. I used large magnetic tiles for this, but you can use anything you could think of. On this specific day that we played this game, I used our number puzzle. Have you or your child choose a number for the first two sections and have your little one count the corresponding pieces to put in each box. For example, ask, how many is in this box? And let them count and tell you the answer. Then again, how many in this box? And wait or help them with the answer. Then say, okay, we have three pieces in this box and one piece in this box. How many pieces are there all together? Then you could count them all together. When they figure out the answer, have them either put the number or even better, have them put the right amount of manipulatives in the answer box. Using manipulatives over just the number is actually ideal because it teaches them number sense versus just memorizing a number. There are also a million ways you can play this game. For the three sections, you can use magnetic tiles or paper plates. For the numbers, you can use manipulatives, cards, or numbers if you'd like. Anything you can count works for this game. My preschooler and I love this game because she has fun counting and grouping the numbers, and I know she's building a solid foundation for addition. Here's a math game for kinesthetic learners or for little ones that just need to get their wiggles out. I call it number hunt. Just make a number line on paper with missing numbers in between. You can number it to 10 or all the way to 100 if that's where your child's at. Just make sure to create a number line that aligns with your little one's current level and make it enough of a challenge for them without making it too hard. We don't want to discourage them. Then write the missing numbers on sticky notes. Now it's time to play. Tape your number line up and hide the sticky notes around the house. This game is a personal favorite in our house, and I talk about a similar game for the alphabet, which I will link in the card above. My preschooler gets so excited to figure out what's missing on the number line and has so much fun searching for the missing numbers. This next activity focuses on simple patterns. The ability to recognize and create patterns are important in preschool because they prep little ones for learning complex math concepts and operations. For this specific activity, I use flashcards and dot stickers. There's already pattern activities in her workbook that she can color, but I like to find ways to make math more interactive. And what better way than using stickers? I cut the flashcard in half, and on one half, I created a short color pattern using the dot stickers. On the other half, I marked dot guides. Then you introduce your little one to the pattern, have them say the pattern out loud, and let them match the pattern on the blank card. This activity can be done in many different ways. You can use different shaped stickers, you can create a bigger, more complex pattern, and the possibilities are endless. Just have fun with it. The next activity is map making. Not exactly what you would expect for a math game. Maps are important for developing spatial awareness, which will help in future math problems and learning geometry. Just make a simple map of somewhere your child is well familiar with, like your house or the park or where you normally take walks. Draw a line with the starting point and an end point and help your child read and navigate it. Now reading a map is a skill that will take time to develop. So be patient and continue guiding your little one. It's fun to place an object at the end point and pretend like you're going on a treasure hunt. My almost four year old loves playing this game and she has no idea that she's gaining so many great skills from trying to follow a map. This last activity focuses on reading numbers and number sense at the same time. And you will need numbers and an abacus. If you don't have an abacus, any counting manipulatives would do. To start, have you or your child pick two numbers and ask them to read it. For little ones learning numbers under 10, just stick to picking one number. Remember to try to stay at the level they're at, but offer them just a little bit of challenge to help them learn. After they read the number, it's time to count it. Sometimes my daughter likes to count the abacus beads by herself. Sometimes she likes me to take turns counting with her. 
This game is a favorite in our house and a fun way to visualize written numbers. I really hope you like this video. If you got value from it, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you want more tips and tricks on encouraging a love of learning in your little one. I will see you later.